Hey guys, it's a beautiful day, so we thought, what the heck, let's go outside and have some fun. And boy, are we gonna have some fun. This is great. This is Adam Smith. He's the pumpkin carver, and he's one of the best. We had him on last year. He did an amazing job. Adam, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks for having me. Now, okay, you can't tell us what you're doing now, because we're gonna see at the end of the show what this turns into. But it's, a, it's I can tell you folks now, it's, it's pretty elaborate undertaking at this point. He's got, a, he's got a ways to go, but I think you're gonna recognize what the end result is when we finally get to it. Adam, when did you start this and how did you even learn? Well, I started doing big pumpkins in about 2010 and I just kind of made the mistake of wanting to do a cool pumpkin and it spiraled out of control and here I am, you know. Do you have people coming to you all the time saying, hey, I need a specialized pumpkin for this business or my family or something? Um, I used to do a lot more like businesses and stuff in the older days, but now I really like doing festivals because you get to really be creative and do whatever you want with it. And so, yeah, festivals and parties and stuff like that, it's just really fun to have a crowd around watching the pumpkin be created. Yeah, now where do you go to, uh, to get a crowd around you? What kind of places can people go and see you at work? Um, well, basically tonight I'm going to be at pumpkin nights at uh, the Utah State Fairgrounds and I'm gonna be carving another one roughly this size and then uh, on Thursday Friday Saturday also at the Utah State Fairgrounds for pumpkin nights I'm gonna be working on a 1500 pounder with a couple other people so <laughs> 1500 pound pumpkin yeah. now how much would you say this weighs I have no clue this one's like 350 400 pounds Somewhere and, in that well, that's a sizable pumpkin. I don't think you're going to find a pumpkin that size on most people's front porch. Right. Uh, but by five, right? <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. Um, let's bring in Jim. Jim actually grows these pumpkins that you work on. Uh, Jim, you were here last year as well, too. Um, is this one of your pumpkins? Yes, it is. We, yeah. We've grown several of them this year. So. Okay, and what would uh, you, I'm sure you know exactly what it weighs. What's it weigh? Uh, it's it's in that 350 to 400 pound range. Wow. Now, all right, you do this for fun or you do it for a living? Uh, it started as a hobby, it turned into an obsession, and it's growing into kind of a small business. So, How does one become obsessed with pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> you want a big pumpkin and you grow it. <laughs> and every year I'm sure you want to top off the, or the year before. You want to beat your biggest one, right? Oh yeah, we want to do big pumpkins every year and go bigger. And We got in with the Utah Giant Pumpkin Growers so we compete with them as well. Yeah, there are big competitions. Have you had the big competition yet this year? Yeah, we've had both of them. We had one at Thanksgiving Point, one at Hee Haw's. Um, we did okay this year. We, we didn't grow our biggest one this year. but What's the biggest one you've grown? Uh, 1,016 pounds. 1,016 pounds. Is, what's the secret? I mean, is, do you have to do you pump it full of something or what? Oh, start with good seed, good soil, and find a bunch of crazy people that like growing them and then find out what they're doing. When you first started out and decided you were going to grow giant pumpkins, um, did you realize you were going to become so involved and, and, and did you, were you disappointed the first time around? No, my first year out trying to grow, I grew a 230 pound pumpkin. I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever done and I had to top it. Do you have a whole specific area like in your yard that's just nothing for growing but for growing giant pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> we, we grew two acres this year. Oh wow. Uh, I have a hundred acre farm up there in Lewiston, Utah and we just carved out two acres and put pumpkins there this year. What was the winning pumpkin weight this year? 1,974 pounds. That's almost a ton. It is. That's a that's crazy. A pumpkin that weighs a ton. Jim, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah, getting the info you. and filling us in on how you actually get these to Adam. Adam, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. How long do you think? I mean, we, we have this hour-long show. We've got mm -hmm. about 40 minutes left. Do you think you can make a serious dent in it? I think I can get to where you can start seeing basic shapes pretty well, and by hopefully four or five hours, it'll be really refined and be done. So. Well, folks, I know what he's what he's going to end up with, and I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to look really cool. You'll like it. I guarantee it. And uh, I guess we'll come back outside later in the show. We'll see how Adam's doing. Get the end results. In the meantime, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back. It's time to check in with Dave. He's outside with our amazing pumpkin carver and see what's going on. We haven't been able to quite tell yet what they're <laughs> making. Dave, are you able to see what it is? I know what it is because I can see what he's working off of, but I was keeping it a secret from you. Tell me now if you think you know what that is. That looks like a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, Adam Smith, our master, master pumpkin carver, is working on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who uh, they, they have, they're resilient. You know, they've been around for a long time and they're still, uh, still making, making a comeback out there. Uh, Adam, let's t take a look here. Now, you've been doing this for, oh, 45 minutes or so, right? Right. Now, in your vision, in your head, where, how long would you say you have to go? I have probably four more hours to really get it refined where I want it to. So really five hours to, to do a, a, an intricate piece like this. Yeah. So if you look, it's going to have Michelangelo over here, and then we're going to have Donatello over here. Uh, or I guess Raphael and then Donatello over here and Leonardo in the back. Then I want to have like kind of a cityscape in the background with kind of tall buildings and stuff. Now why pick the turtles for your, uh, your, your carving today? So we're going over to Primary Children's and I just was thinking if I was a, you know, when I was a kid, what was my favorite thing in the world? And it was Ninja Turtles. So I figured, you know, kids like turtles and we're going there, so. And, and you do this every year, don't you? Uh, this is our second year going to Primary Children's with a pumpkin, but Jim grows them, I carve them up and we go over there and have some fun. Um, what are the kids, what are their reactions when you, when you wheel these things in? It's, it's really just awesome to see, you know, everybody likes pumpkins, but the kids especially like go nuts for it. They're jumping up and down and just, wow, you know, it's the best. Well, it's really exciting. It's very nice of you to do this. And I know you put a lot of work into these things and they can't last forever, can they? Oh, yeah, that's life. <laughs> Does it hurt you to see it like caving in and stuff when it gets old? I kind of like it, you know. It's, I don't carve pumpkins to make them last. I carve pumpkins to have fun. So. Right. Well, Adam Smith, we appreciate you being here once again this year. Thanks for your work with Primary Children's, and we'll just let you carve our way to the end of the show. Awesome. All right, go for it. Adam Smith, everybody.